Samuel knew about the law, but he continued to pray to God of Israel. The other man told King Darius about it. Abby's Playtime! <laughs> Hi everyone! It's almost Abby's bedtime, so I'm going to read her a book. Yes, let's read this enough. Long ago, everyone hated and disobeyed God, except Noah. One day, God warned Noah that he will send a great flood. God told him to make a wooden ark big enough for his family and many animals. Noah did exactly what God told him. After they had entered the ark, rain fell for 40 days and nights. And nights. Mm -hmm. The earth was flooded and every living thing was wiped out. Noah, his family, and the animals were safe. After the wind had dried the water, God invited Noah to come out of the ark. God made a promise that he will never send a flood again. He gave the rainbow as a sign of his promise. What is that? You want me to read it for you? Okay, let's read it. Jesus was born in a manger in Bethlehem. He lived in Nazareth and soon baptized by his cousin John. John John. Mm -hmm. John John John. Yes. He chose his twelve disciples to help him spread the word of God. No, let's finish it first. Mm -hmm. Jesus did many miracles. Once, he fed thousands of people with only five loaves of bread and two fish. Yes. Jesus also healed the sick, even raised the dead. The people loved him. This made the high priests jealous. They had Jesus arrested and nailed him to a cross, and he died. Mama Mary. Yes, it's Mama Mary. His friends put his body in a tomb. When they visited the tomb three days later, the tomb was empty. Jesus has risen and was alive. Do you like the story? I love you. Bye. Thank you for watching.